All right, so we're just gonna quickly test the reaction of potassium permanganate with hydrogen peroxide. So we have a test tube here with 6% hydrogen peroxide. And I'm gonna add a small pinch of the potassium permanganate. So just a small pinch on the end of a scoop, add that to the, um, to the permanganate, sorry, to the hydrogen peroxide in the test tube. Okay, so as soon as it gets added, you can see that there's a layer of brown product. Okay, now normally when you put permanganate into water, you get a bright purple solution. Here it's formed a brown product. There's fizzing. Okay, there's a little bit of purple on the side above it. Okay, I'm gonna take a wooden splint. Okay, about a wooden splint. I'm gonna light it on fire. Put it into there and you can see it reignites. Blow it out, put it in. So there's definitely oxygen gas being produced in the reaction, okay? Question is, is it catalyzing? So interestingly, you can see the layer there. If you give it a swirl, so here's the reaction, it's dying down. If you give it a swirl, okay, it reacts very vig vigorously as the permanganate reacts, or whatever that is, that brown material, it's no longer permanganate, I don't think, reacts with the peroxide in the layer below. So this layer of brown gets thicker and the reaction dies down again. Give it a swirl, mix it with the hydrogen peroxide below and it definitely reacts even more. So there's some density stuff going on there as well. Okay, eventually it completely reacts and this is what you'll get at the end. The some kind of looks to be a brownish, blackish precipitate which is sunk to the bottom. Okay, so I'm not still not sure if that's a if that's a catalysis or if it's actually a redox reaction. Okay, it's definitely reacting very vigorously, getting quite hot. All right, so the reaction occurs. Still not sure if it's catalysis or some kind of redox reaction or, or maybe both. Maybe this brown product is manganese dioxide, I'm not sure. And manganese dioxide, of course, does catalyze the uh, decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So it's possible there's more than one thing happening there.